Mr. Dwayne Johnson, or as you might know him, The Rock, was born on May 2nd, 1972 in California. He comes from a long line of wrestlers with his Samoan maternal grandfather, High Chief Peter Mavia, and maternal grandmother, Leah Mavia, both being successful wrestlers. Dwayne's own father, Rocky Johnson, was also a professional wrestler. You could say The Rock was destined to become a good athlete, and he showed an acumen for many sports when he was a teenager. Football was his first love, but like many in his family, he turned to wrestling. The question is, how does he compare to you? That's what we'll find out today. In this episode of the Infographic Show, The Rock versus The Average Person. Let's start from the beginning. He was born in May. How does that compare to other people? Well, it's not easy to find statistics for the entire world regarding which month people were born. Nonetheless, the U.S. National Center for Health Statistics and the U.S. Social Security Administration compiled data for people born between 1994 and 2014. We expect many of you to have been born during this period. According to that data, September, the 9th and 19th being the most common day, was the month most people were born, followed by August and July. It seems people like to get it on during the winter months. The smallest number of people were born between December and March. Dwayne's mother was Samoan American. It's thought that there are 184,000 people of Samoan descent living in the USA, which is a lot given the population of Samoa is a shade away from 198,000. American Samoa is home to just over 58,000 people. Many Samoans have moved to America, and California has always been a go-to destination. But with people in the USA who have Samoan ancestry being about 0.06% of the population, Dwayne is certainly in a minority. His father is of African descent and spent most of his life living in Canada. According to the Migration Policy Institute, Canadian immigrants make up around 10% of the USA's foreign-born population. As for being a man, the World Bank tells us that throughout the entire world in 2017, 49.5% of people were female. So Duane is slightly in the majority here. The same source, however, says the American population is 50.5% female. Johnson has been married twice and has three kids from both of those marriages. Pure research research gives us some marriage statistics, stating that in 2016, 50% of Americans over the age of 18 were married. Over the last 25 years, marriage numbers are down 9%. Fewer people are getting married, and people, especially men, are staying single longer. It's also said that in the USA, 40-50% to 50 of marriages will end in divorce. So The Rock is nothing out of the ordinary here. The divorce rate is highly disputed though, especially when it's said to be as high as 50%. Psychology Today investigated the divorce percentage controversy and came to this conclusion. The chances that a marriage will end in divorce is probably somewhere between 42 and 45%. The average family size in the USA in 2017, according to Statistica, was 3.14. And no, you can't have 0.14 of a person, this is an average. CIA Factbook tells us that in 2017, the fertility rate in the US was 1.87 children per woman, so we guess The Rock is an average baby maker. The UK was 1.88 children. Developing nations had the highest rates for the most part, with the Angola fertility rate being a whopping 6.16. Before The Rock started acting in Hollywood movies, as you know, he was already wrestling. What you might not know is that he has a degree in general studies in criminology and physiology. According to the Census Bureau, right now there are 33.4% of Americans over the age of 25 who also have a degree. Dwayne is not short of cash, as you might imagine. The National Association of Colleges and Employers tells us that people with degrees in the USA could expect to earn, on average, in 2016, $50,556 a year. It all depends on what you studied, of course, and we can't give you statistics for every country. What we can tell you is that The Rock is said to be worth, right now, around $220 million. In fact, he comes in fifth place on Forbes' list of celebrity earners. Forbes said big movies such as Jumanji and the fact that he has a massive social media presence means he earns a ton of cash. He didn't get that rich wrestling, and his mega money has come through acting. CNBC says he even gets $650,000 per episode for playing his part in HBO's Ballers. How does this compare to you? A recent Credit Suisse Global Wealth report tells us that the average net wealth for an American is $301,000 per adult. But there are a lot of very rich Americans. If we look at median wealth, the number is $44,900 per adult, meaning half of the people have more than that, and half the people have less than that. If we look at the world, Oxfam tells us 1 in 10 people around the globe lives on less than 2 bucks a day. Credit Suisse tells us that India has a median wealth of $1,295 and Africa $411. In Europe, we are told, the median wealth is $14,851. 
As for the world, the median wealth is said to be $3,582. These numbers can differ depending on the source. If you're wondering what net wealth means, it's the value of what you own minus your debts. What we can say is that Dwayne is far from average. He's not like you or most of you. According to the latest World Ultra Wealth Report, 226,450 people in the world have a net worth of over $30 million. It's thought that there are about 10,000 people in the world as rich as The Rock. Okay, let's turn away from money and look at the body, something The Rock has made a living out of. The Rock stands at 6 foot 4 inches. According to the latest data we could find compiled by the CDC, the average height for a man in the USA over the age of 20 is 5 feet 9 inches. We can't find an average for the entire world, but American men are kinda tall in terms of global standards. Taller than most of the world, in fact, except for average men from most European nations and about the same as men from New Zealand and Australia. So if The Rock was to come from the Netherlands, the tallest country at 6 feet, he would still stand out, but not too much given that he is an average for Dutchmen. The Rock would also fit in well in terms of height in Montenegro, Denmark, Norway, Serbia, and Germany. Although, would he still stand out? Because The Rock isn't exactly on the thin side. There can be no doubt that he puts on and loses weight for various roles he plays. That's why all the sources we can find are not the same. Most sources say he weighs about 260 pounds. He said in one interview, depending on the role I'm training for or playing at the time, I usually smash out about 30 to 50 minutes on the elliptical cross trainer first thing in the morning. So yes, we guess his weight fluctuates. He usually trains six days a week and after running or the elliptical, he lifts weights. I separate body parts, legs, back, shoulders, chest, biceps, and triceps. I mix up dumbbells, cables, barbells, and machines, he said not too recently. He added, for the most part, I do four sets of 12 reps with a 60 to 90 second rest. Okay, so how average is he after doing all that? The average American man weighs 195.7 pounds. But Johnson hasn't reached 260 pounds from watching Netflix all day, drinking Coke, and eating cheesy Cheetos. The average male waist size in the US is about 40 inches. The Rock's waist is said to be 35 inches. His biceps, possibly his prize asset, are each around 20 inches. The CDC tells us that the average bicep size for American men is 13.7 inches for men in The Rock's age range. It doesn't differ much for other age ranges, but as bodybuilding forums point out, many men will have big fat biceps. Even still, no one on that forum had biceps anywhere near as big as Dwayne's and all those guys worked out. His chest is 50 inches. He's an extra extra large, but so are many fat men. We are told in the UK men are getting fatter and that's why the average bloke now has a 43 inch chest. He is actually quite average in terms of his BMI at around 30.9. The average American man is 29, which is higher than most Western nations. It's borderline obese. Men's health explained why this is. People who are large and solid, like countless athletes, actors, and men's health readers, are lumped in with people who are soft and sedentary. BMI can't distinguish between fat and lean tissue, nor can it distinguish between different types of fat. So don't go comparing yourself with The Rock just yet. He can bench press, well, it's a bit of a secret, as he gets asked this all the time and never gives a straight answer. Plenty of people talk about this, and it's thought he might be able to manage 450 pounds. According to one source we found, the average man can bench press 160 pounds. It all depends on how much you weigh. According to an exercise website we looked at, if you are untrained and weigh as much as The Rock, you should be able to bench press about that amount, but not if you weigh the American average. That site says if you are 195 pounds in weight, and untrained, you'll be able to bench press about 135 pounds. Even if you are average weight and bench press at elite level, it says you'll be able to lift 360 pounds. The average for men that weigh as much as The Rock that are elite are said to be able to bench press on average 405 pounds. Maybe those rumors about The Rock's abilities are exaggerated. So, do you agree with that? Or is he really that strong? How do you compare to him? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video, Average American vs. The Average European. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!